Hello and welcome back to my office. Well, every now and again things get on top of me and I'm forced to delay recording. Today is Thursday morning, this video goes out this afternoon and I thought I've got to do something. I was away all last week running a tour with the Smithsonian. They have a classic English mystery tour which they organise every year and last week I was the resident expert on that tour for the fourth time. It's great fun, always a good bunch of people and thoroughly enjoyable. However, it meant that this week I've spent catching up with over 900 emails, negotiating a book deal unsuccessfully with a publisher, spending a lot of time with the Southwest writers and basically failing to get any work done. So I thought, oh no, no video, I must do something. And I had a brilliant idea. I would just talk about advances and the money that authors get. Because that's easy, right? And then when someone woke up, I thought, well, she's very sleepy still. She'll just sit on my lap quietly. This is the result. Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings with me, Michael Jex, the tea drinking author who's just finished a cup. Today, back to writing. There's a good reason for this. I don't have any new samples to review and so I thought it would be a good idea to update people on what's going on in the world of Jex and books. Well, the first thing that's going on is I've just received some copies of... Nick Morris's first outing, Portrait of a Murder, which is, it has to be said, a damn good story and really deserves to be bought in bulk quantities. So feel free to either order that from your local bookshop or if you're really desperate for a signed version, I have a limited number here so I can sign them and send them on. I also have, happy days, some copies of this. Murdering the messenger. Some of them are sold, but there are still some copies if you are desperate for a signed edition. Now, why am I talking about books today? The main thing is that I'm now in the horrible situation of planning a new one. I've got a rather superb concept. I have a full synopsis. And the difficulty is nowadays that if you want to send a book off to a publisher, they want to see some examples of your work and how the book's going to pan out. I once had someone write to me and say, oh, I've, I've sent off this covering letter, but no publishers seem to want to buy it. And I had to read through it and he had a full synopsis. He had a couple of sample chapters, but the synopsis was not completed because at the end of it, this twit had put words to the effect of, ah, so who was the murderer? Well, if you want to find that out, you'll have to buy this book and publish it. Well, editors don't go for that. Editors spend all their lives looking for reasons to reject books. They really aren't bothered about a complete unknown who hasn't written anything before being able to complete a novel. So if you're sending out a some sample chapters and you're also being asked to provide a full synopsis make sure it is a full synopsis they aren't joking however any author is only ever as good as the previous book's sales it doesn't matter that i've published 50 odd books now publishers still want to see a synopsis and some sample chapters of whatever book i'm writing so I now have the exciting job of writing 10,000 words for a book which hopefully then will attract some interest from a publisher or two. But let's be realistic, it's not easy. At the end of the day, when you're writing a book, everyone hopes to get some good advances. What exactly are advances? Now you may notice a slight distraction. This is 
a 14 week old distraction. She's a Bernese mountain dog and she gets in the way whenever I'm trying to record. So I apologize now, but I'm trying to give a sensible bit of information. Advances. They are nothing more than advances against future earnings, which means they're an interest-free loan. You have to pay them back. So when you hear about someone who's been granted a massive advance, just be a bit suspicious because if you're granted 20, 30 thousand pounds for a book, you will have to pay it back before you earn any more money. Also, when you hear about someone who's been given a half a million pound advance, very often that's marketing uh, BS. Why do I say that? Well, there was a guy in the UK who was given a half million pound advance. He was the first person in the UK to have such a high amount for a first novel, I think. And when I spoke to him some years later, about eight years later, he had so far earned £17,000 because that advance was only contingent on a TV series or a film being made of it. No. Pups love eating Pineda pens and similar. You are a monster. So, advances. They all have to be paid back. And that's not nice when you're an author because the advances you get are generally not going to be huge. My first advance was three thousand pounds and that back in 1994 was not a huge amount of money. It was even less when I discovered that advances are paid in stage payments. So for example I was paid £1,000 for submitting my con my novel. Uh, I was paid, sorry, £1,000 for signing the contract, then £1,000 for when the hardback came out, and another £1,000 when the paperback came out. Another standard ruse is to have four payments. <laughs> so, for example, my second book was £3,500. That was... £875 to sign a contract, £875 when the manuscript was accepted, another £875 when the hardback came out, and a final one when the paperback came out. What that means is it took, although I was granted a £10,000 advance for a three-book deal, it took, I'm um, just trying to remember, it took about three years for me to see the end of the advance payments. Oi, put me down, pup. Which wasn't easy. And then, of course, before I could earn anything, those had to be paid back. This dog is just impossible. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the sight of a struggling author trying to make his video while controlling his blasted pup. She is lovely, but it's just about time for her lunch, and so she's a little bit on the energetic side, as you can see. She seems to think that I make a very good lunch. Very sharp teeth, those. <laughs> Enough. Well, another day I will try to finish that video. It's clearly a bit pointless today, but at least I hope it put a smile on your face and wasn't a complete waste of 10 minutes of your time. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hopefully someone did, and you'd like to see more of it, then hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends about it, all those jolly good things. In the meantime, if you want to support the channel, you can go to my Patreon account. There's a link down the bottom. In the same way, you can buy me a coffee or do many other things which would all be very gratefully received. But... If you don't want to do any of them, never mind. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy other videos and I will see you again soon. In the meantime, here's a very short video of the pup with her bigger friend who's now asleep and exhausted. Thanks very much. Take care and speak to you soon.